In the church, the fourth Sunday of Easter is celebrated as Good Shepherd Sunday. It is also Vocation Sunday. The purpose of the World Day of Prayer for Vocations is to publicly fulfill the Lord's instruction to pray the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Matthew chapter 9 verse 38, Luke chapter 10 verse 2. This is so because each year the Gospel of John chapter 10 is read. A shepherd is one who is employed in tending, feeding, and guarding the sheep. Jesus, the good shepherd, indicates the kind of shepherd he is. He is unlike some who would flee when facing danger. Jesus, the good shepherd, gave up his life for his sheep. Gave up his life for the sheep in his care. That's why we call him good shepherd. It means that there are also bad shepherds. Jesus was not called a good shepherd. Jesus is called the good shepherd. This means that he is that good shepherd who lays down his life for us. One phrase strikes our attention this Sunday. The sheep that belongs to me, listen to my voice. In our world today, there are several voices to listen to. In effect, our world has gotten louder. We hear thousands of voices all the time. We hear lots of talks, lots of yearnings, lots of loud music. These are all shepherds to some people. But unfortunately, we do not hear the voice of the shepherd. It is worthwhile learning the importance of listening from Pope Francis in Evangelii Gaudium 171. He says, we need to practice the art of listening, which is more than simply hearing. Listening in communication is an openness of heart which makes possible that closeness without which genuine spiritual encounter cannot occur. Listening helps us to find the right gesture and word which allows that we are more than simply bystanders. Only through such respectful and compassionate listening can we enter on the paths of true growth and awaken the yearning for the Christian ideal, the desire to respond fully to God's love and to bring to fruition what God has sown in our life. Vocation is all about listening and responding to God's call. The church concentrates its attention this day on those who are called in their diversity of services and membership and to the missionary life in a particular sense of mission at Gentes. Many have responded to this call by joining. Many are still to respond. Many have drifted from what they are to listen to. Many vocations end up prematurely because we do not take the pains to listen to the shepherd. The church nurtures vocations through rigorous training so that they become good shepherds for the flock, the Christians. However, we must pray for those still remaining bad shepherds that have not followed Christ's examples and are not leading others well. All who play the role of shepherd then are encouraged to listen to the voice of Christ. To understand this reality, we need to approach it with the gaze of the good shepherds who seek not to judge but to love. Evangelical number 125. In this year of mercy then, we are encouraged to do what Pope Francis calls in Amoris Laetitia number 322, a sort of shepherding in mercy, which involves listening to each other. Let us listen to the shepherd. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>